Hi everyone and welcome to Casa Caribe. My name is Laura, I'm a fashion designer and natural dyer. In this video I'm going to share with you the 5 best books that you must have if you want to learn about natural dyes. We're going to start with books for beginners and then we're going to end with a masterpiece. If you want to know which book I'm talking about, stick until the end. When you're new to the world of natural dye, it's normally to feel overwhelmed with all the messy and contradictory information that you find online. This is why I decided to create Casa Caribe. My goal here is to offer you simple information and also pleasure information about the world of natural dye. If you don't want to miss any content that I'm going to share here in my channel, remember to subscribe, also clicking on the bell. This way, every time I put a new video, you will get a notification. I was very frustrated when I started to learn about natural dye because everyone was talking about mordanting, tanning, and life fasting, and I didn't understand any of this, but no one explained it to me. And one thing that helped me remarkably is books. This is why I'm going to share with you my five favorite books about natural dye. So the first book is Botanical Color at Your Fingertips by Rebecca Desnos. The author Rebecca Desnos explained everything with simple text and very beautiful pictures. She has a very distinctive view of the art of natural dyes. So in this book you're not going to find any proteinic fabric because she's vegan so she doesn't use proteinic fabric and you're also not going to find anything to more than because as a personal choice she decided not to use metallic soles. She explained in this book very accurately how to prepare the fabric using soy milk as a binder. But knowing this, that you're not going to find anything about mordantine and you're not going to find anything about proteinic fabric, I still recommend this book. Because Rebecca inspired you to try new things, inspired you to try new dye stuff and new recipes. And I think this is very great if you are a beginning and you start to learn about natural dyes. You can buy the physical book, but you can also buy the ebook. That is what I did. And talking about ebooks, I have an ebook in which I explain to you how to dye using avocado stones. If you want a copy of this book for free, go to my website. I'm going to leave the link on the description down below and subscribe to my newsletter. You will receive a copy of this book for free to your email. Now for the second book. The second book is called The Handbook of Natural Plant Dyes by Sasha Dwer. So this one was my first book about natural dyes and it really opened my mind on how to give color to fabric using just plants. This book is very project oriented, so the author is going to explain to you how to create a picnic table with turmeric or make a shopping bag with onion skins. As you can see, I have all of these to all the projects that I already tried. Sasha, the author, gives you a lot of recipes to follow following the picture, so it's really simple. The book lacks a deep immersion in topics like more than thing in or color fasting, but I still think that it's a great book to start because you have a lot of projects that you can follow and the results are going to be the same as the book. The next book is the book that allowed me to stop feeling like a newcomer to the world of natural dyes. And it's the book of Wild Color. How to make and how to use natural dyes. But Jenny Dean. In this book, you will find a history of natural dyes, which is very important to understand the dye stuff that we as humans have been using for a lot of time. Then you have a list of the equipment. You will also find a page of two about more than and how to use them and a list of plans that you can use and the result that you would get. I think this book is a five star out of five. As I say, this is the book that allowed me to stop feeling as a newcomer to the world of natural dyes. So if you want to have more confidence when you are doing your recipes, if you want to have more confidence about natural dyes, I really recommend this book. So with this last book of white color, we were still in the area of beginner and professional. Now we're talking about a book that is kind of more professional because it has a more chemical and deep information. It's the art and science of natural dyes. Principle, experiments and results. By Jobo Troop and Catherine Ellis. This is a book that I recommend if you already know the most common dye stuff, the Mordantin method, and you're getting great results. But you want to know more. You, you want to know why Mordan works, you want to know why different plants give you different colors. You want to get a little bit deeper about the world of natural dyes. As the title of the book says, it's the art and science of natural dye. So in this book, we're going to get a more immersion into the science of natural dyes. Why a plant will give you a color, why proteinic fabric works better than cellulose fabric, and so on. And as I promised at the beginning, here is the masterpiece of books about natural dyes. 
we are talking about natural dyes, sources, tradition, technology, and science by Dominic Cardo. So this book is more than 500 pages of pure information about natural dyes. It is the result of an extensive research that covered the chemistry, history, folklore, and the botanic. Dominique Cardon is the director of research in the Laboratory of History and Archaeology in Lyon, France. So she understands the importance of preserving the art of natural dye, especially right now that nature is under threat and we're losing a lot of millennial knowledge. I don't own a copy of this book, but every time I have a time, I will go to the library of my university and just read one chapter or two. It is a big goal of mine to have a copy of this book in the future. So there you have it, the five best book about natural dye, in my opinion. If you have a book that you love and help you to learn a lot about natural dye, let us know in the comments. I can't wait to discover more books about natural dye. If you already own one of these books, give a like to this video and remember to subscribe. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!